Tonight, after years of will they, won't they, NASA is finally getting to know Mars on a deeper level with the InSight mission. What is NASA going to discover when it drills beneath the Martian surface? How will it measure Mars quakes? And if NASA's relationship with Mars was kind of like a 90s rom-com, which planet would be the mean cheerleader? My money's on Jupiter. I'm Claire Riley. Welcome to Watch This Space. From the CNET studios here in Sydney, this is your weekly guide to everything on Earth you need to know about space. And tonight, the InSight mission is landing on Mars. NASA is about to get its groove back on the red planet and just like the 1998 romantic comedy starring Angela Bassett and a sassy Whoopi Goldberg, things are about to get surprisingly intimate in the sand. Landing on November 26, InSight will drill beneath the Martian surface to learn more about Mars quakes, the planet's core and its orbit around the Sun. InSight is short for interior exploration using seismic investigations, geodesy and heat transport. Boy howdy, NASA loves a backronym. How do they even come up with these names anyway? What do you mean we can't do any seismic investigation? Gavin gave us the acronym, we're just going to have to invent the science. Oh, this is the butts mission all over again. Previous missions to Mars have focused on robotic exploration of the planet's surface, like Opportunity, which has been roaming the planet since 2004, or Curiosity, which has been getting lost in sandstorms and sending back the loneliest selfies this side of the solar system. We're a bit worried about him. But with InSight, NASA is going to drill down and learn more about the interior of the red planet to get to know it on a deeper, more intimate level. Because NASA's not superficial, it cares about what's on the inside. Here to explain that questionable analogy is Watch This Space relationship correspondent and loose bachelorette dating game amalgam, Courtney Rose. I feel like until now, NASA has really been she's all batting Mars. You know, like judging the planet on its surface layers. But with InSight, it feels like NASA's going to take off Mars' ugly glasses and its daggy clothes and find the cool babe planet underneath. You know, with a drill. Oh, um, my ideal InSight date? Wow, um, I guess it would be dinner and dancing uh, and using InSight's two medium gain antennas and X-band radio transponder to measure Doppler shift and ultimately learn the composition of Mars's core. Oh, and, and margaritas at sunset. Thanks, Courtney, but let me break it down with fewer references to the admittedly great film She's All That. The InSight lander has three primary science goals, to measure the planet's heat flow, track seismic activity, and measure how Mars wobbles in orbit to learn more about the very interior of the planet. To do that, InSight is packed with three main instruments to conduct experiments. First up is the Heat Flow and Physical Properties Probe, or HP3. This will act like a thermometer, burrowing almost 16 feet or 5 metres below the Martian surface, deeper than any probe has ever gone on Mars. Like that scene from The Matrix, but for science. <laughs> then there's the InSight Seismometer, a dome-shaped instrument which will sit on the Martian surface and measure seismic vibrations underground, including Mars quakes. Kind of like that terrifying scene in Jurassic Park, but for science. And then there are the radio science antennas. These instruments will receive signals from Earth and then bounce them back, kind of like a mirror. Even though Mars is millions of miles away, NASA says these signals will help scientists track the location of the lander down to a couple of centimetres. And by comparing these positions over the life of the mission, they'll help us determine whether Mars wobbles on its orbit around the Sun. From that, we can learn whether Mars has a solid or liquid core. Kinda like when you rolled a boiled egg and an unboiled egg across the bench in science class, but for actual science. Alongside these instruments, InSight also has a bunch of other gear on board, including cameras, temperature and wind sensors, and a communications antenna that will relay messages back to Earth via two orbiters flying around Mars. And don't forget the giant robot arm that will help move all the instruments onto the Martian surface. The InSight mission blasted off in May 2018 with two briefcase-sized CubeSats tagging along for the ride, ready to do their own experiments around Mars, because so help me, NASA is not making two trips. It'll take a few weeks before InSight starts collecting heat and seismic data, mostly because NASA has to be really picky about how and where the instruments will be positioned. From there, it will conduct experiments over a little less than two years, bringing in fascinating data over a mission expected to last a total of 709 sols. No one knows for sure what the next two years will bring, but we do know one thing, NASA and Mars are officially going steady. 
All right, that's it for this week's edition of Watch This Space. As always, if you've enjoyed the show, then make sure you click the like button on your remote and subscribe to get more space news as it happens. And of course, if you've got a favourite space topic that you want us to cover, hit me up in the comments. I'm Claire Riley for CNET. Good night and Godspeed. I think we need more Whoopi Goldberg in films in general. Binary, universal, telescope, transport system. Who would, who would call a mission the butts mission? I mean, it makes sense. To be honest, I would definitely watch a Bachelorette show if it was the planets of the solar system. I would watch that. I mean, the thing was, we knew the whole time that it was the same girl. She's always been hot. It's a really problematic film. I don't I do like Freddie Prince Jr. though. It's pretty cool.